Hey Star Wars Collectors, this is Dark Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review. And this time I have Nikto Jedi Fiex Search. So I've heard his name pronounced many different ways online, but that's what I'm going with Fiex Search. Uh, Fiex Search was released last year as part of the Vintage Collection. And uh, uh, he's a great figure. I really like Fiex Search. I was really happy to get him um, when, when he first came out. I think he looks fantastic. Some good details, a good um, head sculpt. I just really like this figure. So let's go ahead and get on to it. Okay. So, of course, VX Search was originally uh, didn't have a name when he was released in 2002, I think it was, as part of the um, uh, Clone Wars line. If I remember, Attack of the Clones. I forgot the name of that collection. But anyways, um, you know that there was a Nikto Jedi release that was unnamed, and um, they released them um, ten times better than that figure was, and, and gave him a name. So, as you notice, the head sculpt is fantastic. I really like it. I think it's a great mold. The horns sticking out the side, the horns coming down the front, the wrinkles right right where the you know around the mouth area. The eyes just they feel like they're staring right at you. <laughs> I just like it. The ridges on the head look great. I really like it. I think it's fantastic. Okay. It's an awesome head sculpt. Okay, before we get on to the body, let's talk about the robe. Um the robe has a canvas feel to it. You know, there's some wear and tear on it. And some st loose strings coming out. You know, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but you know, I like the robe. It is kind of big, like most robes are. But whatever. And then the, it does have a hood that you can place somewhat over the head. <laughs> not much though. So you know, it doesn't really go over all the way over the head. So it looks you know better drape but I do like the robe you know I think it makes the figure stand out a, a lot you know I, I could definitely see people not liking it though for some of the reasons I described okay but I like it so let's take that off of him doo, doo, doo. there we go lightsaber off okay so here we get a better look at the the tunic. Focus. There it is. Okay. So the top part is plastic. Nice brown color to it. And the belt, you can see the pouches. Some good detail on the belt. Some gold, um, silver touches, I should say. There's another pouch. Got your extra lightsaber hilt. Okay. This is soft goods, this part of the tunic right here. And the part of it that comes up um, in front is plastic. Boots look good. Okay. So you know the the, the, the Jedi tunic for the most part is, is good. Uh, but what really makes this figure stand out is the head sculpt. Of course, the hilt is removable. So we can look at the hilt. Nothing's really special. And let's take a look at the lightsaber while we're at it. Got your basic blue lightsaber, some transparency to it, and basic hilt for the most part, also. So, articulation is in. Awesome, good, great articulation. You got your ball jointed, head, uh, ball hinge shoulders, elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, and ball jointed el uh, knees and ankles. So some great articulation for the most part. Awesome. Okay. Highly recommend this figure. You know I still see him around on pegs and stores, so he's he's out there, still available, and you know he's a great Jedi to add to your collection if you don't have him already. Okay, 
one of my favorite figures. Like I said, this this head sculpt is incredible. I really, really like it. Okay. So until next time, um, may the force be with you. <laughs>